So we're going to bring the sides down. And what did you say you wanted on the sides? Circles. Like swirls? Swirls. Circles, okay. Not just absolute just circles, just something circular. Right. Swirls and movement, ocean. Gotcha. I believe I'm a creator and that the creator works through me. Certain things you don't choose, you know, it just kind of chooses you. I'm a barber and I've been cutting hair for 28 years. It's been since I was 12 years old. I was going to people's homes and cutting their hair. 12 years old with a book bag and clippers in it. That's why. At one point I didn't want to do barbering. I didn't feel it was prestigious enough. I didn't feel it was academic or, you know, sometimes we get caught up in isms of what we should be. And so I was running from it for a while, but it was like, no, here you go, get back over here, you know? And it would use different people in different situations of coming back, you know? Well, I started getting my hair cut about three years ago. My oldest daughter, she cut a big chunk. <laughs> out of my hair. I had to remedy the situation, so I went and I was searching for barbers, and I finally came across Greg. He's the one, he's, he's who I've been looking for. It's a different type of expression. I'm a performing artist, but it's like another way for me to express myself. I haven't really named any of the hairstyles or what have you. I mean, I think I'll call this one the blade. <laughs> I love every single one. <laughs> it's important to embrace the crown. I think it's just actually returning back to more of how we were and what we were. You know? It's like you're born head first into this world, you know. So I feel honored being able to work with people crowned. There's so much energy involved in that. First of all, I'm an artist, so it's, I, I'm picky about a lot of things. The clothes I wear, the food I eat, the accessories I decide to put on my body, and the haircuts, you know what I mean? Some people say it's a starting point. A fresh haircut is the finishing for me. Like, if you got a fresh haircut, you can have damn near anything else on, and you can work that. I've been looking for a dope barber for the longest who could interpret what I, I put down on paper. And Greg was the one that kind of hit that on the, on, on the head, man. Greg, he had that down. Me, my style is, is definitely some ancient futuristic vibration. A lot of the things that I do harkens from the past, but it has an edge of futuristic dynamic to it. You know what I mean? Some ancient future vibes. I feel that it is ancient. It's the ancient future. You know, we're returning. We, we have no choice but to go back to who we are and what we are. And this is the process. I think this is, your hair is, you know, it's literally growing from your crown, you know? The barbershop has always been an intricate part of the community, you know? It's like the internet of a community. It's where people would go share information, find out things, and chit chat, and even learn, you know? I remember growing up, you know, a lot of things I learned as a man I would learn in a barbershop. Even some things a barber would tell you, you know, you sit up straight, you know, look straight ahead, you know. It does resonate, you know. Even way back, you know, barbering is, I love it, you know, it's an ancient art form. Feeling the flow of it all makes sense and it all feels cohesive, you know. And then even then, I sometimes I'm like, as they're walking out the door, I'm like, wait, 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 come here, come, come here. Come <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
Cause I just can't let a part of myself walk out like that, you know? It just, I don't know, it just, it wouldn't feel right. You know? I don't think about legacy. I don't think about what I want to be known for. I just want to like open up a pathway for myself and others to expand on new potentials. Show a different way of doing something that is very old. Doesn't necessarily have to be a barbershop in a storefront with a barber pole. It can be in your crib where I'm moving towards in a loft that is not necessarily a barbershop, but just a gallery where on a Sunday afternoon you get a hot towel shave with a, a live jazz band playing, you know? I just want to open up new potentials, you know? Now, I don't want to like putting too much thought into over mapping out and planning, you know? Chess is a beautiful game, but Sometimes you can think yourself to defeat. Boston sounds on a rude boy thing. 